Yeah, I've owned this Spin Dexter for 10 years now. Uh, paid $39.99 for it. It's the type of thing that I bought uh, thinking that at some point it would be useful. I did try to use it uh, a year or two into buying it and I always had a problem with the handle slipping off of the tube insert that pulls the collet in place. I could never figure out exactly why that was. But now that I've bought a milling machine, uh, I'm more interested in getting this thing working properly. You put the collet in place, there's a threaded portion uh, inside the, uh, the tube here that will mate with the collet. And we'll pull the collet then in place. I'm doing this without the handle on because I'm going somewhere with this. And we got a good snipe fit on that bolt. The problem is that uh, the handle basically has these uh, Allen uh, style screws that attempt to affix it on the end of this shaft here, uh, the tube. And the tube, of course, is the thing you need to turn in order to pull the collet tight. And it, and it always slipped on there. And I, I could never really figure out why. <laughs> but sometimes, you know, you, uh, you get an epiphany. And of course, uh, when you look at it, you see that it's only hitting the end. And it's got about a quarter inch to go. Uh, before it can get a uh, full purchase on the uh, the tube. So I think uh, think about a fix on that. You know, there's a couple of options. One would be to machine a small sleeve about the same size as the tube, but I think that would be a little bit problematic. Um, the second option is just to take a little bit off of the end of the main uh, shaft going through the spindexer. So it's another example of uh, getting a tool at a super price. These things are about a hundred bucks now where I live and not really realizing why until years later. Uh, but today I think I'm gonna uh, make a few mods to it to make it work. So the first thing I'm gonna do is chuck it up in the lathe which is gonna be a challenge in itself because the through hole in my lathe uh, will not accommodate uh, the tube or shaft. Uh, so it looks like I have an opportunity to use my steady rest for the very first time. Okay, we'll see you over there. Okay, I'm at the lathe now. I have the uh, spindle chucked up in the four jaw and I have my uh, steady rest set up and the parts uh, very well centered. Uh, this uh, dial indicator is graduated in half thou increments and I'm basically seeing a uh, quarter thou. So that's good. Okay, I got the uh, spindle RPM set to uh, 250 which is... Uh, let's see how she does.
Okay, we're back. Uh, either you thought that was funny or you think I should watch a uh, tube lacane video on tool geometry for high-speed steel. Nonetheless, it got the job done. I had to drill through the sleeve in order for the set screws to get enough of a grab on the uh, threaded sleeve in order to uh, uh, get enough torque to pull the collet tight. Um, I'm pretty happy. I took a quarter inch off the end, and although it, uh, it's not exactly uh, wobble free, it does exactly what it's supposed to do now. So, uh, if this helps anybody, I, uh, I'm happy about that. Feel free to leave some comments below, uh, give a thumbs up, and uh, I look forward to my next video. Thanks for watching.